as Craig Joubert in his 150th match for World Rugby. A classy referee that he is, but Greg, the weather conditions here in Sydney in the high 30s, and that's what we're expecting on the field as well. So England, they defeated Kenya 19-12 yesterday, Japan 26-0, and then they knocked over South Africa 21-15, so I guess it's safe to say they are the form team going into the cup quarterfinals, the race for the gold medal. Argentina lost 22-19 to the USA, but beat Russia 19-14, then they had a draw with Canada. It's a mixed bag of results for Argentina on day one. The HSBC, Sydney Sevens for 2017 and the first of the Cup quarterfinals, and Rodwell has it for England. England missed out in Wellington last week, but they won in Cape Town, the second stop on the series as Bibby tries to beat his man, but a good tackle from Lucas Beotto. And now Burgess rock solid with his carries. Burgess always the go-to man in close from England now Mitchell brings Bibby on the angle run and that's poor but Rodwell is there to clean up in the tackle of Menendez Bibby Norton what can Dan do they hold on to the jersey and hold him up but he goes to ground outside the 22 now Bibby to Rodwell across to Mitchell Mitchell showing and going. Tom Mitchell, that's a great run. Nobody in front of him. The chase is on. Has he got the pace to go all the way? Yes, he has. Tom Mitchell, a captain's knock for England. First try in Sydney, 94th in his career. And it's a beauty because they've controlled the tempo and the pace of the ball right from the get-go. 90 seconds on the clock. The pass from Rodball inside a weak shoulder and then the sweeper. And Raval, who's normally a very, very good defender. And once he got into the backfield, it was good night, Nurse. Tom Mitchell opens his England account. There, yeah, Franco Sabato chasing for Argentina, but he could not get to him. Yeah, Mitchell in his 38th tournament. Second on the point scoring list after three events coming into Sydney. And now the conversion attempt from the try scorer is a good one. So England seven, Argentina nil. I don't know if you can sort of say that Tom has a bit of a advantage here, having one year in Sydney, a gap year when he finished high school in England. Played a bit of rugby as well, but he wouldn't have played in heat like this day in and day out. It's a scorcher and England will get this throw in from the restart Gaston Revol, the 30 year old captain of Argentina from Cordoba 53rd tournament on, so ball. much Come in, please, guys. on his yep. leadership in this young rebuilding team from Argentina a good two-handed take from Rodwell Mitchell Bibby and now this is Charlie Hayter getting it out to Norton oops Slips over, Bibby with the run round. They were waiting for him. Get Bentley. out of the way quicker. Come towards me, not towards the ball. It goes against Argentina. Well, Argentina haven't touched the ball. 12 passes for England to Argentina, zero. And the other interesting stat, they've missed three tackles, have the Argentinians. And they've only had to make seven. So they're missing over half. That's a concern. Yes. Conicky takes it for England. So Bibby waits for the defence. Crossfield. Now getting it out to Burgess. Well worked try. It looks simple, but takes a lot of practice and a work to treat. Well, he couldn't have ran a bit of line. Phil Burgess, one of the go-to guys for them. Look at the way that Bibby just holds the line. Then the weak shoulder there. The inside gap. It opened up like the Red Sea and Phil Burgess couldn't believe his luck. Two tries, Argentina yet to touch the ball. And Burgess, 46th try in his career now. Pretty happy with his efforts. Now Mitchell and it doesn't hold its line so it's 12 points to nil. They've got the luxury, Greg. They've got McConaughey out to the left, and then they've got big James Rodwell 
for England out to the right. So multiple threats, whichever way they kick. Hence the reason why it's become such a big part of the game, the restart. It's James Rodwell, 32 years of age, 73rd tournament. England, they were third in Dubai. They won in Cape Town. Equal seventh in Wellington now. White. Looking to make amends for that one. 11 off the head, please. So another penalty okay, going up, against up. Argentina. More possession for England. And once again, Rodwell getting up and tapping it back. How many times have we seen that over the last one decade? Two. He is such a good player for England. Now Bibby. Again, prepared to wait. Prepared to draw in the defenders. Here's the switch with Mitchell. Out the back it goes to Hayter and then over to Norton. He's a very experienced campaigner. He knew he couldn't get burn them on the outside, so he cuts back in field. But anyway, he could get to the ground on that occasion. So use it or lose it. And so Argentina, believe it or not, are going to get a put in to the scrum. Well, 19 passes to nil. They've got to win the scrum first. And this is good play from the Argentinians getting in, flooding the area and just holding up the big prolific try scorer in Dan Norton. Nothing that Charlie Hayter could do there. Crutch. Argentina. Is proving. As Norton there is on 232 tries and is six behind Santiago. Oh, in fact, uh, Collins and Jura now, the leader. Argentina, they were equal 11th in Dubai, 10th in Cape Town, 5th in Wellington. Can they continue that improvement? They've got some work to do here, but finally some possession for them as they go wide. And that's a poor pass from an experienced guy like uh, Herman Schulz. Maybe the assistant referee gave him the call. Good day. That's who he passed it to. Have a look at this. Ostochuk out to Schultz, and then there's the pass to the touch judge. No, that won't work. Thanks. Man from uh, Cordoba. Schultz. So England. Terrific opportunity to attack again in Argentina's territory as Hayter goes across field, holds it up. Oh, and then he just double pumped and Norton wasn't ready for it. Rare mistake from there. First Frenchman lost forward by White. There's plenty of class on the Argentinian side. Never wrote them off. We talk about Schultz, Menendez, Belotto. But for me, Sabato needs to get his hands on the ball. He's such a great threat. If they can get it wide out to him. And really, Argentina need to score next to stay in contact with this match. Bazen, Bazen Valerz puts it in. Then the penalty goes, or the free kick goes to... Argentina, so they work the short side through Menendez, Rodwell, and McConaughey stop him in his tracks. Half time, siren has sounded. As in Velez, back it goes. Revol, cut out pass. Schultz, Rodwell, oh, it's a high tackle. Above the shoulders. Get up this play, penalty only. Great shoot there. I think he's seen quite a few Hollywoods in his day, so he's saying to the player, get up, I'm happy, keep playing. Yeah, that's... He might be milking it a bit there. Is he foxing it? We are on Fox Sport, aren't we? There you go. As, as well as many other broadcasters around <laughs> the world, a Hollywood is a Hollywood, no matter where you're watching. Revol and Mosin Velez. Getting out to Bayotto. Missed it. Well, after the halftime, Huda and on the far side, Sabato can't get around them. This is the best passage so far for Argentina. Finally on attack inside England territory. Asatchuk, he's got some toe. Asatchuk for the corner. And Mitchell came across, yes. but he couldn't yes. prevent the try. And so, well after the half-time, Huda, it is a try to Argentina, off, just to give them a bit of confidence. Wow, He gets Finally. his third here in Sydney too, and I'll tell you what, he's a smart young kid. And I call him a kid because he's a young man, but 
five metres out. He knew the sweeper was coming across. And have a look at this. He died for the line so that he wouldn't be forced into touch. That's quality play. Argentina back in this game. Matias Azuchuk. Five tries in Wellington. Only his fourth tournament. He made his debut in Dubai in December. One of the rising stars. Two 19-year-olds, two 20-year-olds. So, oh, <laughs> what about the conversion from the veteran, Gaston Raval? So it's 12 points to seven, and all of a sudden, Argentina are saying, don't worry, we're back in this one. England 12, Argentina quarterfinals. And the winner of this one will play either New Zealand or Fiji in the semi-finals of the HSBC Sydney Fine. Sevens. Later today, knocked on by Argentina. So again, the work of Rodwell at the restart, paying dividends for England. Lucas Bayotto in the second tournament. Here's Rodwell, all eyes on the ball. Putting on, putting on some pressure. Forcing the mistake from Argentina. England has done a great job in burning a minute of the Simbin time. And they were in no hurry at all to put this into the scrum. Craig GB, the referee, no longer refereeing 15s. He's now working full time for World Rugby as a coach for the up and coming Sevens referees. And he's going to work the Sevens series as well in England, trying to work something. And this is Alex Davis. And the mistake coming, and now. Revolve, but it Lost came off one of the Argentinian one, hands, so call back. Near thing. I scored in the tackle. Good pressure from the Argentinian squeezing in and coming in from the blind side as well to shut down that space here from Bibby. They that's know what a threat he is, so they close it down. That's where it's gone forward. <laughs> Caught on camera, and Revolve thought he was away. England have done a great job, maybe a bit of justice in the sin binning of their captain. Drugs. Find set. So Bibby gives it to Norton. He's going to kick ahead. The chase is on. Who's going to win it? Getting close there is Davis. He dots it down. And that's great vision from Dan Norton. Normally he's the one doing the chasing. Yeah, sure as well. Yeah. There's no issue with touchline, is there? Okay, we're going to go TMO, Nori. We're having a look at grounding. Try no try, please. Let's have a look at the grounding through the television match official, the TMO, and short there, or did it roll onto the line? I think he's gone before the line. First look there is before the line, but does he control it as it comes over? Yes, he does. Try time. He's got it on the chalk. Still had a hand on it, as well as the knee. The hand is the important one. Going forward. Oh, I will be it is a try to England. Great heads up play from Norton as well. Six players on the field. They're waiting for the captain to come back. And Norton just looked down that blind side. The grubber kick was perfect for young Alex Davis to score his 20th in the HSBC World 7 Series here in Sydney. Brings up a century of points, Alex Davis. Congratulations to him. Mitchell back out there in time to take the conversion. It's out to the left. So England looking to follow on from their 15 aside team that opened the Six Nations with the come from behind win over France. And it is 17 points to seven in the Sydney heat. Four minutes to go. Still plenty of time for Argentina. Oh, yeah. Norton got up and knocked it back a kilometre or so. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> so they have to all retreat. Start again, but they do have possession, and that's the key in sevens. And the double round with Mitchell. Cut out pass over to Rodwell on the far side. And Davis! 
over halfway, cutting back on the inside. Mitchell is with him. Can he link up? That's a great run. And now over the top of the ball there yeah, was Lotaro, Mazin, Velez. Velez. And so Argentina, after all that, come away with it. The Otto on the 22. Clear release. Clear release. No clear release from England. Satchuk takes it quickly. And he draws in two defenders before offloading. Menendez back to Sabato and Biotto. Back to Menendez. Not a lot happening. Rod will read it pretty well, but there is a little bit of room over on the far side. England had time to recover, though, and get their defenders across there. Satchel. Bowl, back in the pocket. Norton can't stop him, but Rodwell is there to affect the tackle on halfway. Plenty of ball movement, and now a little bit of territory as well for Argentina. Right on. Sechuk. Norton holds on. Rock. All is out. Rodwell came through. Well read. Oh, and then Dan Norton. The second time in this match, his hands have let him down. Well, they're exhausted. And this heat it is exhausting there. Dan Norton would have normally just tucked it under his wing and sprinted all the way down. But what about the kickoff? And James Rodwell, he must have played volleyball when he was a young kid because he spiked it. As you said, a kilometre back. Such an important part of the game. That has been the Achilles heel for the Argentinians. 17 points to seven. Twice as many errors by Argentina. It's reflected on the score sheet as well. A lot of experience in this England team. Seven survivors from the Team GB team that won the silver medal at the Rio Olympics last year. What is out? Knock on there. Simple mistake from Argentina. So time is running out for them. You mentioned that players that were at Rio as well, Greg, but Simon Amor is such a great coach. He was a wonderful player and now in the coaching role and he's just consistent with the selection and he's giving guys confidence now. And the squad is pretty much settled in the first four tournaments and that as a player is what you want. It's been the best start to an HSBC Sevens World Series for England for a few years after the first three events. Find themselves third on the ladder. Should be able to maintain that position or even go higher here in Sydney. Now Mitchell to Pebby. And over on the far side, Bowen. Back to shoulder. Tackle's done. No! No! It's a high tackle. So it's a penalty to England. They won't be in any hurry. McConaughey coming across. Now make sure he stays off. Hang on, time is off. Do this up now. England are about to have eight players on the field. You understand you've got to wait for those guys to tell you one. The player's going to have to learn to now target more the chest. Anything above the shoulder is a penalty. And so the player's going to have to adjust to it. It's taking some time. OK, thanks. Time back on. Yes. Less than a minute remaining. England in the box seat to go through to the Cup semi-final. The race for the gold medal, and there's almost an intercept. Initial tie down five Just hasn't North been North. until today for Argentina. We saw in the stats there that England 100% efficiency in their tackles. Well, Argentina, they've missed five, and just things haven't gone their way. Unforced errors or the ball that would normally pop up into the hands of an Argentinian player just hasn't eventuated in the second half. Set. 
Tom Mitchell. They just got to put it into touch or sprint the whole way and put the icing on the cake here. And that's what they're going to do. Tom Bowen. Fresh legs. And Tommy Bowen gets the final try. Seals the deal well and truly for England. They're through to the last four of the HSBC Sydney Sevens. And they will play the winner of the next one between Fiji and New Zealand. So Tommy Bowen. As soon as he got the ball, he knew that he had to make an impact coming off the bench. Could it be on doubt? Mitchell will have the final say. There. Yeah. Great conversion. And that is a very handy win indeed for England in the first of the Cup quarterfinals. England 24, Argentina 7. And coming up next, what a clash this is.